Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode, from me, Abermance on the Abermansia Peninsula. Yep, this is my Let's Play Survival series, and we are on episode 25. Now, I've had quite a lot of people come along and say, Abba, Abba, I'm new to this episode, I'm new to the channel, and you are all really, really welcome, but I don't get it. I've not seen this. Please, can you let me know what is going on in this world? Because it looks like a really good scene and I'd like to see more of it. So what I've done is respond to this request and we are going to do basically a tour of Avamancia as it is after 25 episodes. Now, you could argue, dear viewer, that progress has been slow, but actually that's been deliberate. I've been deliberately doing just one thing or maybe two things per episode just to make sure that we are growing this together. I don't want to do loads and loads and loads of stuff off camera because the whole point is, is we're doing this together. That's the point, right? So if I do a gazillion things like between episodes, it actually doesn't mean that we're doing it together. I'm doing it apart from you and just showcasing it. And that's not the idea. We need to do it together. So I'm going to do a tour of this lovely place, not just the peninsula itself, but I'm also going to do a tour of the other areas that we've been to and what we've got. And then what I'd like you to do, and this is your job, this is your job as the subscriber and the viewer. Oh, by the way, if you're not subscribed yet, are you mental? Hit the subscribe button for goodness sake. Stop messing about and the like button whilst you're at it. Right, anyway, enough of that frivolity. We are looking to do a tour and I need something from you. At the end of this, I want you to see what I've already done. So watch the video all the way through, have a check on what we've actually done. And then in the comments below, I'd like you to let me know what you think would be some good things to do. Now, I know I've got some plan because I've got the competition running recently that um, hopefully you've entered. If you've not entered it, please do go and enter it. It's quite fun. That will produce a neighbours section on this peninsula. I'm basically going to make a, make a neighbourhood and the winner of this competition and then subsequent competitions are going to get a house specifically for them that they can have input into the design of and they will become part of the peninsula too and I'll walk past you all the time and talk about you and that will be that. So make sure you enter the competition. The link is in the description below and it will be good for you to do that. But what I thought I'd do is, again, if we've got any ideas whatsoever of things that you think I should be doing on the peninsula, just give it a holler and stick it in the comments below and list out loads if you want to. Really, really open to people giving me lots of ideas and some of them I'll do, some of them I don't. But anyway, should we crack on with a tour? I think we really should because I want to get this place shown. So if you're new to the channel, you are very welcome. The first thing we're going to do is come over this way and we're just going to walk through the house. Hang on, I better pull up my thing. There we go. Just going to walk through the house. So this is my house. It's not going to be my house forever, but it's my house for now. And we have places I can store my armour. It's a little bit of storage and a bed, obviously. This is kind of my short-term storage centre where I do some smelting as well. And then in here, we've got my kind of house entrance to the mine. And come along here. Like closing the doors. So this is the mine that I've built. Now I do want to do some work on the mine because at the minute it's just a bit rubbish. Now I've got a bank of um, furnaces there. And this comes out kind of at the bottom of the peninsula but I'm going to go down into the mine first which is down this way. I'm a little bit snotty today so if I sound snotty I apologise. I'll attempt not to blow my nose too hard down the microphone because that won't be very friendly. So we're coming down here and what I did notice down here a few episodes ago, and if you watched it, you'll remember, I came into my mind only to find a big fat slime facing me. So apparently this could be a slime chunk. And at some point, I quite fancy trying to do a slime farm in this area too, that maybe can um, support additional slime manufacture versus the other slime farm that I've got over in the swamp, which would be quite cool. So, so this is the base of the mine. And I've been doing some, as you can see, some branch mining here and here and along here and along this way as well. Lots and lots of branch mining, which is great. But what I've also done is I've got this open area here with a creeper in it. You can go away, creeper. I don't want you to, I don't want you to be hitting me in any way, shape or form. Now this is where I gathered all of the obsidian that I got in my um, to do my gold farm. This was all around here. This was absolute loads of obsidian that I produced as a result of just lobbing water onto lava. And you can see where I've dug a lot of the lava out to make this obsidian. But this doesn't go particularly far. Not again, loads and loads of lava taken out there. This is where I lob stuff to go into my sorter. I've already got, I'll tell you what, if it's just, let's just put a few bits in there. So if I stick them in there, so when I've been mining, the bits go into there 
and then the item elevator chucks them up into the item sorter that I'll show you in a little bit. But this is pretty much it at the moment. There's not an awful lot here. So I don't want my gentle pickaxe. Just get rid of that so as I can get past that lava. But again, it doesn't go very far. So maybe I could do some more stuff down here. What do you think? That might be fun. So let's get up back upstairs. <laughs> So we're back out at the top of the peninsula, just checking that we've got nothing that wants to eat my face. Again, if you're new to the channel, I've got a real problem with things that want to eat my face. So what we're going to do now is I think we're going to go over this way and we're going to go and have a look at the fish farm that I made over here. Now, there are tutorials for a lot of these farms in my uh, farm tutorial series, but this is the fish farm that I've made. And you can AFK fish here as much as you want. And down here you've got um the various storage systems i could expand that a little bit i have to say because it's got a bit full to say the least look at this it's just chock a block um but that's all right because it has given me the most amazing enchantments in the world it's absolutely superb i've been very very lucky in fact with the enchantments that i have got here is my sugar cane farm it's just a little micro sugar cane farm producing sugar and for whatever reason i dumped paper in there because i made it out of some sugar cane because that's the sugar cane there uh, that I'm doing the crafting table, obviously, crafting table to make the sugar, to make the paper, and then the sugar cane. So that makes sense, right? And all it does is just go round and round and round and collect the sugar cane automatically. It's brilliant because it's in the spawn chunks. It does it all on its own, which is fab. I've got chickens all over the place, um, which is sometimes a bit of a pain, to be honest. I need to do a chicken farm with these fellas because you guys produce a lot of eggs, and I reckon I could probably get quite a lot of cooked chicken out of you, couldn't I? And you're also very, very loud. Um, then we've got over here was the iron farm over there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an iron farm that is automatically fed with villagers, with a villager breeder that's over that way. And um, that was made in the last episode. I'm not going to go over there because it was only in the last episode. And if you're new to the channel, you probably saw that episode. Then we've got our jetty that I get, um, I basically go boating from, which is awesome. I've got all of these roads that run around the place. This is my uh, no redstone tree farm. I've only just harvested a load of stuff there because the trees have grown, which you can see. We're going to ignore the nether portal for a moment and we're going to come across this way. This was just a house that I built. Um, we're going to ignore that bit over to the left hand side there as well. We're going to ignore that bit as well. We're ignoring quite a lot of stuff, I know, but this is just to give you a little idea as to what it is we've got here. So down here, are my map walls now that map wall is my zoomed out map wall this map wall is my middle map wall and this map wall is my normal map wall and you can see we've got this is the peninsula here we've got the bridge that goes across it will go across in a bit with the mate space that we'll talk about in a bit and um, i need to update these maps here because these maps have, do not show at the moment the um the uh, slime farm that i've got there in fact um i might actually do that why don't i actually take out that map there and I'll take it with me and I'll update it over there that makes a lot of sense when I go over there um, so that's the map wall and then over this way we've got the uh, the road that will continue off there and do more in that direction and then over here I just want to come over over here this is my don't build any buildings with doors past this wall wall this is the villager system here with the villager breeder over there and again i showed you that in the last episode so i'm not going to go into that in too much detail but what i do want to do is get myself over to the lighthouse and then the other bits and pieces over there so i'll see you there we are at the top of the lighthouse with its overly complicated redstone yes i know it doesn't have to do this but i thought it'd be fun to have a moving part just for a laugh so this is how the um the lighthouse turns on and off we totally don't need this piston i know that just got a little clock that then times the uh the running round of the uh, redstone lamps in a kind of circle. It's, it's dead simple, really, but it doesn't even need that. You could just run the clock off of it, couldn't you? It's just an extra bit for a bit of fun. So I've gone, so I just need to go down. I have trouble going down ladders. I don't know if any of you have ever noticed this about me, but I have trouble going down ladders. There we go, we got there in the end. Right, so out here we have a little balcony that goes all the way around the lighthouse, which I really quite like. And it gives you a really good view of the Avanasia Peninsula there. And obviously a really good view of the iron farm. And over there, the mob farm. And we're just gonna pop over to the mob farm now by going downstairs 
around here. So this is the lighthouse that we're going down. And obviously we, we built it quite high. So I needed to give myself a nice spiral staircase going all the way down like this. Oh, blimey, I just noticed I need to eat something. There we go. That'll do. Um, let's keep going. All the way down. It's still not there, look. I, I did not make this tall, didn't I? Blimey. There we go. I actually put myself a little bed in there in case I ever um, had to sleep. So there you go. So that's the lighthouse. It's quite nice, actually. I quite like it. I think we did quite a good job at that one. Um, I need to do more lighting around the place because still getting plenty of mobs spawning. So let's just run ourselves across this bridge. And this is the um, mob spawner and the XP grinder that I did. The, I kind of did a half a tutorial for it. It's a big old fella. We've got a platform up there and the mobs are basically washed off of that platform by uh, the water coming through the middle of the platform and washing them off the edge that they then drop into this water chamber that drops them into this chamber here you can then give them a really good bash in over there they can't get you and collect the xp by opening that trap door that's simple right i'm not going to go up there again because we've only got four years in which to make this episode so let's get back over and perhaps we'll have a wander over to the main space right so we're over at the end of the bridge so i did this blooming great big long bridge which you can see here What's the, oh look, there's a bit, there's a chunk of wood missing there. Right, that's going to cause me all kinds of problems. I'm not going to enjoy that. I'll need to sort that out. Um, in fact, I need to sort it out now. That's going to do me in. I need to get rid of that bit of wood. So there we go. Add it up. I must have inadvertently taken that bit. There we go. So that tree now rot down and I won't, that won't offend me at all. Right, so we're going to go across the bridge now. Um, we're not going to go across it on the track. We're going to go across it walking. Um... This is kind of my observation platform, but we're going to go across the bridge walking now because we're going over to the other side of this ocean area. And the reason we're doing that is because we've got some more things over here. If you've not seen it, you'll, uh, you'll notice that we've got a few more bits over here. This is the rail track that transports villagers from the villager breeder across to the iron farm. It's quite good. And if we're lucky, we might actually see a villager getting shot across. It doesn't happen loads, but uh, it does happen. It's quite funny. And... Across the other side here, we've got something a little bit special that I do. If you've not been involved with it before, I have my mate space. And that's where I put the names of people that have been especially awesome with me on the channel. Now, it might be that they've sponsored the channel, which would be absolutely amazing. It might be that they've just constantly commented and been hugely involved in the comment section and liking the videos. Or it might be that they are a personal friend. Or it might be that I'm looking to do collaborations with them. All that kind of stuff. Lots of different reasons why someone may have a, a spot in the mate space. Maybe they sent me some fan art. I don't know. Lots of different reasons. But what I'm um, doing, hopefully, here is collecting a group of people that are basically awesome and uh, this is the mate space just coming up on the left hand side it and again this area is all very very dark and i need to do a lot more lighting because i'm not a massive fan of mobs if i want to get xp i'll use my mob grinder thank you very much um that looks like a spider down there doesn't it yes it was oh, i'm sorry spid i just blew you up right so this is the mate space there is a skeleton and probably other mobs as well coming along are you deaded? No, you're not deaded. No, you're deaded. Right, I'll have your bones, though. Or whatever else. And that XP. I might as well take it, right? So, oh, I can hear a spid. Proper face-eating issues I've got, haven't I? Right, so, so what we're going to do today is we're going to put someone into the mate space because that's what we do every single episode. So I'm just going to take a sign. And you notice that the mate space is starting to get quite full. I've only got a few slots left, and I'm going to have to make another... Uh, I just expand it in some way. I'm not quite sure how yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the next mate space member there. And this is episode 25. And this person is actually this person's a YouTuber, and they have got some really great stuff on their channel. Totally underrated YouTuber. This guy should have 100,000 subs every second. I mean, he's just superb. I've got some. Hang on. I don't want to get deaded. I don't want to get deaded. Right, so I'm going to edit this sign now. I've got to edit the sign. Blooming heck. What a pain. Let's get this up here. Get through the gap. Right, so where are you? You're growling at me. Where are you? You're over there. Which means I can just kill you a lot. 
Oh, shush. There you go. Right, right. anyway, as I said, this guy's awesome. There's more of you! Oh, uh, this is why... This is why I want to... Um, I want to get this place lit up a bit more because this is crazy. Let's just get this done quick. This guy's awesome. And I'm looking to do a little bit of collaboration with this chap because he is this good. Frillia. Oh, I can't spell. Frillia. Go and see Frillia's channel. I'm going to put a link to Frillia's channel in the description below. He's brilliant. Just go and see him. I tell you now. Go and see him. It's, it's your job. Have some food. There we go. Right, so now we are going to continue... Welcome to the Mates Base, Frill. You are more than welcome. Episode 25, my quarter quail member of the Mates Base. Right, now we're going to run the gauntlet because we're going to go up this way. There you go. That told you, didn't it? So we're going to go this way because we are, without question, going to end up going through some nasties that, without doubt, want to eat my face. Don't you run away from me. It's not going to do you any good. No, it's not. There you go. Oh, did I lose? I didn't even lose any hearts. This is why having awesome armour is awesome. Sorry, chicken. You're just making dodgy noises. So we're going this way because down here we have got my slime farm. This is a swamp slime farm uh, as opposed to um, kind of the under the ground in a slime chunk slime farm. And it is, I mean, this is actually really quite efficient, as it happens. And it uses, you can see there's uh, slimes in the distance there going to try and, it's just going to come around this way. It's quite efficient as a mob spawner as well, if you want to get some XP. So I'm just going to run up this way, because I want to try and avoid getting deaded. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up to the, uh, the AFK spot, so you can see it a bit better. So you can see over there, look, we've got all sorts of stuffs going on. Enderman, we've got um, spiders, we've got um, uh, slimes spawning over there. And when they get close enough to these podiums, the uh, the golems attract them in and they rub themselves up against those cactuses, uh, cacti, I beg your pardon, and they get collected down at the bottom underneath using a rail system that shoves it all into... Yes, I'm coming for you. I can attack you whilst I'm climbing ladders. There we go, you're all gone. This was not meant to be a mob grinding exercise. And then down here, we're getting loads of slimes, collecting also a little bit of iron. It looks like one of my golems might have been deaded. Oh, I might need to go and check that out. But you can see there, look, the slimes rubbing themselves up and down against the golem, uh, against the cacti. And uh, it c collects up all those slime balls, and it's absolutely awesome. So there we go, it's just... And it also does bones. It's, it's good. I'm really quite pleased with this one. And uh, that's enough of that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go across to the other iron farm area that, and the village that I used to collect up um, the villagers originally that I put into the peninsula. That, and I know it's this way somewhere. So, oh, there we go. Go away. There you go. You're just going to die. Now, yeah. yeah, I urge you. That was the, that, when zombies die, it sounds like they're burping, doesn't it? it? Totally does. Right, so we're running across. Right, don't look at the end of. Oh, we're gonna get done by a creeper. He's gonna eat our face. Right, should we try getting? I'm trying to get into pearls. You see? Where are you? You died over there. Did you drop me an ender pearl? I'm trying to collect ender pearls for obvious reasons, but at the moment, I'm not having a lot of luck. I'm getting like an ender pearl every 478 endermen, which is just not fair. Loads of horses over here. Um, but if we keep going in this direction, we will eventually hit another blooming creeper. We're running, we're running. Or multiple creepers. So we eventually managed to get rid of all of those nasties that were chasing us across the fields. I really wasn't in the mood to fight too many of them, so I just bolted. This is the villager breeder that we used to create the iron, to produce the iron that we needed for the rails 
to make the other villager stuff near the spawn area because obviously the spawn area villager breeder and the spawn area um, iron farm are going to produce stuff all the time. They're pre producing it now even though I'm nowhere near it. This iron farm, however, won't produce stuff now because uh, it will produce stuff now, but it won't produce stuff when we are in the Avamancia Peninsula because it's too far away and the chunks have unloaded. But it has been quite effective. I'm just going to come down. I'm saying it's quite effective. I think so. Yeah, so we've got quite a lot of iron. I might take some of this now, actually, uh, whilst I am here. That will work. Um, we did get quite a lot of iron out of it, and it was quite effective. I'm quite pleased. So, um, and these villages will just. I think there's probably enough villagers in there now that they're not going to breed anymore. But uh, they are fed, again, occasionally by the other villager breeder, um, where it runs along. The uh, the cart falls in there. The villagers kicked out as a result of it in the cactus. It goes along there. It's floated up and it's fed into the iron farm area like that. Dead simple. So, And that's, as I say, fed by this villager breeder over here. And the other side of the villager breeder, there is a village. And that is the parent village of all of the uh, villagers in my entire world. Yeah, this is not a world of genetic diversity. It is a world that has originated, hello fellas. It's a world that has originated from just those two villagers. Literally those two villagers are the only villagers that have produced any villagers or the, the parent or the grandparent or the great grandparent of every villager that I use in all of my farms. So it's a wonder they've not got three arms and four heads and goodness only knows what, because they've all come from this village up here. But if we carry on past the village and go for far enough, it gets just a little bit more chilly. And that is where we are going to head up next. So here we go. One long old trip later and we are at the ice spike biome house that I did. Um, I can't remember how long ago it was. Just not that far ago. But this is just a little house that we did within the ice spike biomes. And I'm just going to go up into it if you haven't seen it before. Because the entrance is up here. There we go. Get in there, go on. Right, so the entrance is up here. And it's basically, it's nothing really flash. It's just a little house that I can have in the ice spike biome. It's got, you know, actually, frankly, very little around it. I can't even sleep here because I've not got a bed. But it looks quite good. And if you wanted to, you could stand up here and you could shoot mobs off of your balcony. It's quite nice because I like shooting mobs. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's the ice spike biome that we did. And we collected loads and loads of packed ice off the back of that ice spike biome episode and have been here you know a few times since as well if i get my um pickaxe you know we can grab loads more of this packed ice and it is really very effective at collecting it look at that there we go loads of extra packed ice just from that little wonder it's always worth getting just a little bit whilst you're here there you go so let's head back to the uh, peninsula because there's a load of other stuff that i need to show you still and we are back at spawn and I'm just going to wander through the enchanting cave and the potions area. So there's the potions area there, look. Nothing very flash, just a little bit of uh, nether wart. Oh, I've not planted some up there, look. That's just... I'm just going to plant some nether wart in that. I just... I like to have a bit everywhere. You know how it is. Just have a bit everywhere there. Put that bit back. Um, I could make an automated uh, another wall farm. Obviously, that would be much, much more simple. But um, I've not done that yet. So maybe that's an idea for the future. This is my enchanting area. I can hear something growling. But I think that's in the caves underneath me. And if I come through the enchanting area, that brings me out. Of course, it's night time again. That brings me back out uh, the map area. And what we can do is if we continue to go down this way past the map area and on and on for about a thousand blocks what that's going to give us is uh the next area that we built up and i've done it a thousand blocks away for a very very good reason so let's get ourselves over there with a bit of a run and a jump we got it that is the gold farm so it's, it's a, a well over a thousand blocks actually it's about 1200 blocks away from the peninsula with the main reason being should i just shoot that creeper for lols there we go uh with the main reason being that at the time linking up um portals uh, was a major problem now there might be a solution for being able to do it a bit closer that i've not actually acted upon at all but that is the gold farm there's quite a lot of obsidian in that and i need to expand it out quite a lot further as well but you can see one of the snow golems there just about um within render distance so i'm going to come down if i uh 
if I go down like that, that's probably the easiest way, isn't it? Right. So I'm going to run away with a creeper. So I'm just going to come up here and show you show you the gold farm. Now I know some of you have seen this already, and that's awesome. I thank you very much for sticking with the channel. That's the area that the gold farm basically um, functions on. So if I come up here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Up we come. Right, so you can see here we've got pigmen. Now we've not got a massive spawning rate of pigmen, I will grant you. But we've got pigmen coming in here and we've got our, um, you can see our golems, um, they're all in the line, so I can't see them wrong. But when the pigmen come out from these portals and poke their head out, and I'm just going to shift so I don't fall off, uh, and come along, you can see that all three of the golems there. Um, and come onto one of these platforms, what happens the golems aggro them and uh, that brings them all out. So he's not come out far enough yet, that pigman there, but this is why it's not massively efficient. There you go, so that one comes out, but sometimes they fall off too quick. There you go. So now look, they're aggroing all the pigmen, all the pigmen in the thing. Come along, I'm a little bit lag there, did you see that? And you do get instances sometimes when the pigmen basically get bothered by the snowballs quite a lot, bless them. And old Chili here, you see that Chili, he's a bit of a hardcore goal of this old Chili. He's um, a bit of a mad man. Sometimes he puts nails in the snowballs just to really, really annoy people. But what happens then is we go down and we kill the zombie because they're in the way. And we've got the pigmen here, look. And those pigmen are just basically unable to go anywhere, so we give them a smack, give them another smack, give them another smack, and what happens is all of the gold gets sucked through that half slab and into the chests, and then I come and grab the XP, because pigmen give you really good XP. And then down here, we've got, not been using it an awful lot at the moment, so then we've got all of our um, chunks, of, I've used up loads of it with the rails system to do all the powered rails, that's where most of the gold has gone. And um, yeah, so that's how it works. Brilliant. So anyway, back to, um, I think, the peninsula again, because we're nearly done. Right, so we're back at spawn, and we pretty much covered... Oh, there's an enderman. I'm going to have a go at you and all. Here we go. Come on. I want... Come on, I want you. Here we go. I hate it when they do this. Where's he gone? I didn't collect the stuff, did I? No, he's gone. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do the map when we were over at the slime farm. Oh, that's really annoyed me. Now, what's happened is that Enderman has teleported away and died as a result of being on fire. And he's probably dropped an Ender Pearl and I'm never going to know where he's dropped it. And that's going to be really, really making me cross. Oh, maybe I need a sword that's not got fire on it. And that's the one that I smack up the Enderman on. Anyway. Enough of that. We're going through the nether portal because the other side of the nether portal, there's a couple of other things that I want to show you. We're going up here. This is my little custom nether portal. Made it look a little bit pretty. And up we go. Did I talk about the, the, the meat farms, by the way? There we go, look. Free meat farms. If you want to know more about the meat farms, I'm not going to talk about them now because I've not got it in my little schedule. But I've got some tutorials on how these little micro and meat farms work. Some fiddles required sometimes with um, the console version, so be aware of that. Anyway, let's get ourselves up through this portal. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our never hub. This one is blocked off at the moment because nothing goes east. This one is blocked off at the moment because nothing goes north. What we do, however, is have a west access and a south access. Now, I'm not gonna go south at the moment. Yes, I am. I'm going to go south. Uh, so we're going to have a look south first. I'm just skipping here. And this is basically, uh, I use this as a nether transport system because it gets you a lot further, a lot, lot quicker. And that's the whole point of uh, me doing this. So we've got um, around about 250 blocks that we're going to transport ourselves on this particular run, which is going to take us about 2,000 blocks in the overworld in, in terms of equivalent distance. Now this bit's a little bit open and I run the risk of smacking myself into something, I'm not close to moving glass, but it does mean 
that we are here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through this hole and we're going to find ourselves somewhere else. So let's do that. There we go. So this is the first place I found a, um, I found slimes basically because over here we've got a um, quite a nice open field and then it turns out into a swamp. Am I going the wrong way? <laughs> Trouble is with this um, this never portal. Sometimes I come out on the other side, and I'm not entirely sure why. But there is a swamp biome. Here it is. Look, there's a swamp biome just over here, and um, this is where I got the first slime balls off the entire episode because we went slime bashing in this one. This is way way ago, ages ago, like episode five or something. And um, but it was really quite effective. So and I've not been back here very often actually I've only been back here a couple of times to collect slime balls because now I've got the slime farm I don't need to come here but it was quite a nice um nice open area and perhaps I should be doing something interesting in this area as well look we've got quite a nice overhang there we could probably do some kind of base uh, in this area I'm not entirely sure what but some kind of base might be quite fun and there is another village in there as well that I could potentially utilize for something else but again I want your ideas don't forget in the comments below I'm after what your idea should be of me doing this stuff so now we're going to go back to the nether portal um because there is just another exciting thing that i want to show you now we're not going to go out to um the desert biome that one of the nether portals ported us out to simply because um all that's there was a desert temple that i've already looted so we're not going to go and have a look at that but we are going to come back through here there we go and, and go back to the nether hub so let's just go back to the nether hub this way. I hope there's no pigment in the way. I'm just going to have something to eat because my hearts uh, are at risk. Right, so there we go. And where's the other one? It's not that one. It's this one. And in this way, as a grand finale, we're going to get in. And I'm going to take you to my little pièce de résistance that I did a little while ago. I really like this thing over here. And, oh look, there's a, there's a ghastly. And uh, this thing over here, I think is actually a little bit special. There's a pig man, don't go on the rail, please pig man. Um, I think it's actually quite special, this thing over here, because it's uh, it's allowed me to do all sorts of things. So if I then get out, so I'm not going through that um, nether portal there. These tracks are gonna go off north, south, east and west as an extension to this system. But what I wanna do is I wanna come through here. Because out here, I can hear you, Ghastly. Where are you? Where are you, Ghastly? I don't want you uh, sneezing your hot snot all over me. That would be bad. Anyway, so we're coming down here. Because down here, we've got my blaze farm. And it's going to turn on. And there it is. Look, so it turns on. And the little blazes will come out. You can see I'm getting all excited in there at the moment. The little blazes will come out. And then... They will give us lovely blaze rods. Well, it's taken a long time to come out. Why is it not coming out yet? There we go. So the blazes come out and they drop down into the bottom of the blaze farm. Let's just go up to the blaze farm top here. I can hear you, Garsty. You're worrying me. Um, yeah, so the, the blazes fall down to the bottom. I don't know if you can see them particularly well. They fall down and they get channeled in to the centre of this by using a number of pistons, pushing them. And then what happens is they come along down that chute, this is the bottom of the chute, and they collect up in here. And I've got two options, they're loud, don't they? They don't like being here. You can either suffocate them by throwing this switch, and that shoves a little block in that stops them from being able to escape, or, in fact, no, I throw that switch, I just don't remember how I use that. Throw that switch, that blocks them in so they can't rise up, and then you can either suffocate them by chucking that one, no, not that one, by chucking that, and that suffocates them by shoving a block in, like that, bang, 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 like that. Or, if you want to, you can give them a bit of a whack and a bit of a tickle because they produce a lot of XP, do blazes, they're brilliant. The XP drop, look at that, boom. Loads of XP. Sometimes you get a little bit of XP stuck in the thing. And in here, as I've emptied this out fairly recently, you've got blaze rods collecting up and collecting up and collecting up, and that is how it works. Let me just throw that back up like that. And there you go, one blaze farm. I've just got to very carefully walk myself back up these steps. I can still hear that ghastly. Where are you? It's a nasty ghastly. 
So back up the steps and then th back up to the spawn area. And that is pretty much the site as we know it now. It's not, I guess it's still relatively undeveloped. We've not got, I mean, we've never been to the end, for example, but there's all, all sorts of stuff that we haven't yet done, which is why I need you to tell me in the comments what it is you think I should be doing. I'm stood in front of my Christmas tree. I'm not turning it on because it's bad luck to turn on your Christmas tree when it's not Christmas, but I could just turn that on next Christmas. That'd be nice. Hopefully we'll still carry on. Oh, look, there's a little witchy poo. Should we do the witchy poo? I think we should. Let's uh, let's see if we can't get that witchy poo properly done. He's going to be lobbing. Yeah, you might try and heal yourself, but it ain't going to work. I'll have that, I'll have that, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Yeah, anyway, so that is, um, look, I've got slowing on me now. Look, I've got my little ball and chain. Um, that is the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. It has been a fun one. I've enjoyed it very much making it for you. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. And next episode, hopefully, we'll do something a little bit more substantial, which would be absolutely amazing. But I want your ideas. What do you think we should be doing? Stick them down in the comments below. That would be awesome. Also, if you've not done it already, slap the like button. You know you want to. Just give it a little tickle. Make it blue. It really wants to be blue. Anyway, and also, if you've not done it already, again, hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.